Hey guys, uh, for this video today, I want to do something a little bit different. And today I will be sharing my personal thoughts and opinions on a subject that has generated quite a bit of conversation online in online chat forums and all over the internet for that matter over the over recent years. And I thought that this was such a fascinating topic that I would sit down and do a video on it here tonight to share my thoughts on color versus color games in sports. So before I get into sharing my opinions on color versus color uh, matchups in sports, I'm going to talk about the five major professional sports leagues in North America and talk about how they do color versus color, and, or sorry, how common they have color versus color matchups in their respective leagues. So number one is definitely Major League Soccer. In soccer, color versus color matchups is a daily occurrence. It's something that is not is not an anomaly. It's a daily occurrence. It's so common. It's actually so common that it's not normal if it's not a color versus color match. And it's actually... Usually you'll see games like, for example, I don't know who, who's a good example to use here, but say, let's say LAFC against the Seattle Sounders, where LAFC will wear their regular black kits and the Sounders will wear their regular green kits, which in soccer, they call their uniforms kits rather than uh, an away uniform or a home uniform. And on top of that, they don't do home and away. They have a primary kit. And they have a secondary kit, which is very, very different from the other four professional leagues here in North America. And I'm going to quickly jump over the pond to the rest of the world talking about soccer as well. Because in the sport of soccer in general, as a whole, color versus color is a daily occurrence. Now, the next sports league that I want to talk about now, next on the list, is the NBA. In basketball, color versus color has now in the past few years become basically a daily occurrence all the time now. Um, I've even seen games where teams have worn orange versus red. I've seen purple versus black, purple versus navy. I've seen red versus black. I've seen blue versus black. Um, I can go on and on, but I'm not going to um, just for, you know, because I feel like you guys probably already know what I'm saying and I don't want to spend too much time on it. But in the NBA, color versus color is now extremely common. In fact, I actually felt it was really refreshing to watch Game 3 of the NBA Finals between the Toronto Raptors and the Golden State Warriors yesterday and just see the Warriors wearing white and the Raptors wearing black. I thought that was really refreshing. It was a breath of fresh air and it was a nice, nice color um, contrast between the two teams. And I got to say, um, it was... It was a good looking uniform matchup in terms of black versus white. And it was nice to see. Um, but yeah, and the NBA has now become a daily occurrence regarding color versus color games. It's now getting to the point where it's rare to not see a color versus color game these days. Um, at least from what I've seen when I've seen games, most games I tune on to now are color versus color. Um, but then the third league out of the five major professional sports leagues here in North America, number one, Major League Soccer, number two, the NBA, and then number three, Major League Baseball. In Major League Baseball, the reason why they're at number three, at least in my opinion, is because you have some teams that really, really stick to tradition. Like, for example, the Dodgers and the Yankees, where they only wear white and gray. That's it. Besides, maybe a specialty uniform now and then. But in their regular uniform rotation, the Dodgers wear white at home, 
gray on the road. Same with the Yankees. And I, I'm pretty positive I can say the same about the Detroit Tigers too. Because I have not seen them wear a navy blue jersey in the regular season ever. And I know they've certainly never had an orange jersey as far as I know. Which I I understand I understand why because their uniforms are especially their classic white home jersey with the English style letter D on the front. I mean, I understand why they stick to tradition. But I will be honest. I I'm I'm going to be honest. I wouldn't be against the Tigers having a really nice looking orange alternate jersey maybe to wear not every game, but maybe like 5 times a year. And that's pretty conservative. But something like that, in my opinion, would be really cool. But at the same time, I respect their wishes to stay with tradition and just wear white at home, gray on the road. But what I'm saying here with Major League Baseball is that color versus color games are also basically a daily occurrence in Major League Baseball as well. Then number four on my list, the NFL. And with the National Football League in recent years... They've gotten to a point where we do sometimes see color versus color games now. And, but they're not always color versus color games. Even in the color rush games on Thursday nights, traditionally, over the past five years until this past season, when they decided to remove that restriction where teams, instead of only wearing color rush uniforms on Thursdays, they can wear them on any day they want. And with a maximum allowance of up to three times a year where some teams might wear an alternate for two games and maybe they'll wear a color rush for one game or you'll be a team like the new orleans saints who wear their color rush uniform for three games for example um but in the nfl you do see color versus color games every every year now at least we've seen that in the past five years but they're still they're not a weekly occurrence at least not this past season, I don't think it was a weekly occurrence. There were some weeks where we did not see color versus color, at least one. But now in the NFL season, you do see multiple teams or multiple color versus color games every year now, ever since the introduction of the color rush uniforms uh, almost five years ago, as of this video. And finally, the most conservative league in North America regarding color versus color matchups is the National Hockey League. Um, in the NHL in recent years, the only time you see color versus color has been for outdoor games. Notably, the past two stadium series games that the Philadelphia Flyers and the Pittsburgh Penguins have played each other in. I mean, in 2017, the Penguins wore yellow and the Flyers wore black. This year, Pittsburgh wore black and the Flyers wore orange. And, they're, and those Flyers Stadium Series jerseys, I hope, are quickly forgotten because they are some of the worst, ugliest uniforms I have seen. And I'm not, I'm not making that up, folks. But anyways, in the National Hockey League, you basically get to see one color versus color game every year for an outdoor game. But this past season, or during the regular season of this current season that's still ongoing because the Bruins and the uh, St. Louis Blues are in the Stanley Cup Finals right now. Um, this year, Carolina decided to wear their red home uniforms against the Anaheim Ducks in their regular black home uniforms. And they had a, uh, a very, very ultra-rare color versus color matchup because the owner of the Carolina Hurricanes does not like their away jersey and that's why they're getting new away uniforms for next season just in case anybody did not know um who's watching this video or and they're getting them for the upcoming 2019 2020 season eh um but yeah you know um this whole thing about color versus color i like that the nhl doesn't have it too much i mean there are some people online who I notice really want to see it all the time. And some people who don't even really care for it. Even the one or two times a year we even see it in the NHL. Um, for myself, 
here's how I think of color versus colored matches. I think that once in a while, if you've got the right jersey matchup and uniform matchups, color versus color can be done really, really well. And back to the NFL, I'm, I'm going to quickly throw in the Canadian Football League real quick. Um, in that league, for in a short from from 2012 up until 2016, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers had a gold away uniform with a gold jersey and navy blue pants, and those games were color versus color games anytime they were on the road, which was really cool because the gold was a, I thought it was a perfect away color because nobody else had it, not even as a, an accent color on their logo or nothing. So I thought that was really cool. Um, also, there was one color versus color game that I can remember between the BC Lions and the Ottawa Red Blacks, where the Red Blacks wore their black home uniforms in Vancouver against the Lions in their regular orange home uniforms. So in the CFL, even uh, color versus color basically doesn't happen much either. And in my opinion, I think that color versus color, as long as it's a once in a blue moon type of thing, is okay. I don't mind it. Like, for example, if it's a really, really good jersey matchup, like say we've got the Detroit Red Wings in their red home uniforms against uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs in their blue home uniforms, that, in my opinion, would be a very, very nice color versus color game. Um, perhaps, for example, the Vancouver Canucks versus the Edmonton Oilers in orange royal blue versus orange that in my opinion would be a nice jersey matchup um montreal against the new york rangers i think that would also be a very nice contrasting color versus color game um, another one that i think would actually not be too bad is the dallas stars in their green home uniforms for victory green to be specific and the Vegas Golden Knights in their gray or steel gray home uniforms. So some color versus color matchups, in my opinion, work. And even another one that might would actually not be too bad would be, for example, the Los Angeles Kings and the Carolina Hurricanes. Like, that's one thing that bugged me about the Hurricanes wearing their red home uniforms against the Ducks. If they had to do a color versus color game so badly, they should have done it against the Kings because the Ducks home uniform is full of orange and it just doesn't, it just did not look good. Where the Kings uniform is simple black, white, and silver against red, white, and black. I mean, I think that that would have been a much nicer color versus color matchup if they really had to have it that bad, as bad as they did. Um, but you know what? I, I mean, in soccer, you've got the players running around all the time. And the thing is, is that the field is so big that it's easy to tell the teams apart. Color versus color in soccer does not bother me much at all. Um, truth is I'm not big on soccer myself. I don't really follow it very much, but overall, when I do see matchups first, like for example, say, uh, New York City FC and their powder blue kits against the um, let's let's say uh, the Tor Toronto FC in red. Those matchups work. I mean, I've even seen Orlando City with their purple uniforms. I mean, them playing a team. I'm just trying to think of a good example. Like maybe perhaps the Montreal or no, the Vancouver Whitecaps in their gray uniforms that they have as of 2019. Something like that works. It's, you know, in soccer, I'm more partial to it because it's been there for so long. And on top of that, the field's so big, it's easy to tell the teams apart. In basketball, here's what I don't like. I don't like seeing one team in one color and one team in another all the time. It just doesn't look good to me. There's just something about it. It's just color versus colors. Not that I have trouble telling the teams apart. It's just, it just doesn't look good good i feel like the uniforms don't complement each other very well i mean for example if you got the toronto raptors wearing red against the los angeles lakers wearing purple i'm sorry folks but 
I really don't feel that that is a very nice jersey matchup. I just don't. I don't like it. It's not a good-looking matchup. I've seen, I've seen uniforms like, for example, the Milwaukee Bucks uh, black uniform with their logo on the front. I mean, that uniform against, say, the Philadelphia 76ers blue uniforms? No thank you. I'm not a fan of it. It's not good looking in terms of a uniform matchup. And I've even seen orange versus red in baseball and basketball, and I really don't like it. In basketball, both teams play on a on a court that's got a similar size to an NHL arena or an NHL ice rink. And I'm sorry, folks, I really don't like it. I mean, once in a while, color versus color in basketball, do I mind it? Not at all. Like, for example, if there's a team like the Brooklyn Nets wearing black and the, let's say, just trying to think of an example here. Say the Toronto Raptors wear red and the Brooklyn Nets wear black. That's not a bad matchup. If you got a team wearing orange against, hmm, let's say let's say the Miami Heat are wearing a black uniform, and you've got a team like, hmm, like the Boston Celtics wearing green. That works. But do I want to always tune in and see color versus color? No, I don't. I just feel like in basketball with the smaller court compared to the size of a soccer field or a football field or even a baseball stadium, I don't like it. Once in a while, if it's the right color versus color matchup, no problem. Like, for example, maybe the Lakers in their yellow home uniforms against the Boston Celtics in their green uniforms. That is a beautiful jersey matchup right there in my opinion. And by the way, uh, I know some. I know there's probably people watching this saying, well, they don't have home and uni away uniforms in basketball anymore. You're absolutely right. Instead, they now call them association, icon, statement, and they have throwback uniforms as well for some teams. So they have statement they have a statement jersey and uniform and I'm and then they have another one. I think it's a, a city pride uniform. And I think they call it a pride uniform. And then there's also another one that they've even brought in starting this season called an earned uniform, where if your team makes the playoffs, or if a team makes the playoffs, then they bring out a yet another additional uniform. I think it's a bit excessive. At least in my opinion, and I don't. I think it's kind of stupid how they've gotten rid of home and away uniforms in basketball. Like, what the hell was the point in that? I don't agree with it. Then you've got, let's see. Then you go into baseball. You've got this these big giant stadiums, and the players are relatively stationary. They're not really moving around a whole lot in baseball. In basketball, I don't like how they're always constantly moving back and forth, and you're having to tell apart, like say, red versus purple, or purple versus dark green some of these matchups that i've seen in the nba over the past couple of years since nike's taken over have not been good and it was bad even when adidas was still making the uniforms by the way i'm not giving adidas any credit either but in my opinion you know some of the color col versus color matchups in basketball are just horrendous in major league baseball you know at least one team wears white pants and the other wears gray pants and you know what? Some of the, a lot of times I love color versus color in baseball because it's easy to see the players stationary on the field and it's easy to tell them apart. Whereas, you know, a sport like basketball, you can still tell them apart, but they kind of the colors kind of get muddled up together, if you, you know what I'm saying. But in baseball, you know, when I see, like, for example, the Toronto Blue Jays wearing royal blue against the Houston Astros in orange, it's a really nice jersey matchup. Even another one, like for example, how about the Seattle Mariners in teal and the Chicago White Sox in black? That's a nice matchup right there. I mean, some of these color versus color matchups in baseball are really, really good, especially when they play 162 games in the regular season alone. It's nice to see teams wear different combinations, and it's nice to see some different things. 
Like, for example, I love seeing a game like, for example, when the Tampa Bay Rays wear their powder blue alternates against perhaps the Los Angeles Angels in red, wearing their red uniforms. That's a nice matchup. Or, you know, I'm trying to think of another one off the top of my head, but perhaps um, the Cincinnati Reds in red versus the Cleveland Indians in navy blue. That's a nice matchup. You know, I, and I've got, there's so many different examples that I could use to talk about this, eh? I'm, and even another one real quick. Um, the Oakland Athletics in yellow or gold versus the Chicago Cubs in royal blue, wearing their royal blue jerseys, regardless of who's home and away. That's a nice contrasting matchup. Or even the Milwaukee Brewers in navy blue against the Athletics in their golden yellow alternates. That's a nice color versus color game. The problem that I have is that I have seen some matchups that are just really, really ugly in baseball. Like I've seen the Los Angeles Angels against the Houston Astros in red versus orange. And another one that I really disliked was when in the World Series a few years ago, between the um, Chicago Cubs and the Cleveland Indians, we had some games where they were royal blue versus navy blue. I'm sorry, but that is a horrible color versus color matchup. I mean, if it was powder blue versus navy blue, that would be good. But I don't want to see like royal versus navy blue. That is one of my least favorite color versus color combinations. It just does not look good. And you know what? In baseball overall, it's nice to see that teams do wear white and gray still. And I do love that the odd team does something different. Like, for example, the St. Louis Cardinals with their powder blue away, all powder blue away uniforms, alternate away alternates that they've brought in for this season. I think that's really re refreshing to see a team do something different. Eh? But, you know, I some of the matchups I just don't care for. And then in the NFL, the color rush has brought in color versus color in the worst way possible. All one color uniforms against another team in all color uniforms. For example, the Rams in all yellow versus the Bucks in all red. It's hideous. I mean, in the NFL, if they let these teams wear contrasting pants with their uniforms, color versus color would be doable. The Rams in their yellow color rush uniforms with navy blue pants against, I don't know, the Kansas City Chiefs with their red jerseys and regular white pants. That would be a great matchup. I mean, and some of these matchups are really bad. Like the Seahawks in all neon green against the Arizona Cardinals in all black. Or even the San Francisco 49ers. I mean, if the Seahawks could wear navy blue pants, and in the Cardinals' case, they could wear white pants, that would be a jersey matchup that I could live with. Even though neon green versus black is not pretty, for one game, I can live with it. But, you know, when it's color versus color and you see one team in all one color of uniform, including the pants, with no, with no contrast on the uniform itself against another team with the, with the exact same problem, like red versus the a team wearing all red against the Carolina Panthers wearing all light blue. Ugly. They're terrible matchups, some of them. Or most of them are. And the whole color rush experiment, in my opinion, has been a total failure. I mean, the jerseys they've created all overall have been not too bad. But the uniforms, whoo-wee, that's a whole nother story. And then with the National Hockey League, do I want to see Montreal versus red and Toronto in blue? No, I don't. Once in a blue moon? Okay. I mean, if there was a nice matchup against, say, the... Philadelphia Flyers in orange versus the New York Islanders in royal blue? Okay. But do I want to see that all the time? Absolutely freaking lutely not. I actually think the best thing, best solution for the NHL would be to have one color versus color game every month for the entire league. Where once in a blue moon, you get to see something different. Like, for example... Uh, maybe the Colorado Avalanche in their navy blue alternates against the Dallas Stars in their home victory greens. 
that would be a matchup that I think would not look too bad. Or, you know, a team like, say, Detroit against the Nashville Predators with their home uniforms. Red versus gold. Nice contrast. In fact, yellow is such a nice color and it's bright and distinct that you could wear it as a road uniform and it could work. Which I kind of still wish Nashville would wear gold on the road and then wear it at home in the playoffs. But at the same time, I do think it's cool that they wear the golden yellow at home because nobody else does, eh? But, you know, I hate color versus color all the time. It does, to me, I kind of see where people are coming from, where it does kind of look a bit amateurish, and it kind of looks like something you'd see in high school or even some university sports, especially here in Canada, where university and college sports aren't at the same level of popularity as they are in the United States. But, you know... I mean, do I want to see, like, for example, the Chicago Bears in navy blue against the Kansas City Chiefs in red? No, I don't. If it was, like, one game once in a blue moon, it's passable. With If they're not wearing monochrome color rush uniforms and their regular red versus their regular navy blue uniforms, okay. For one game, that works. In the National Hockey League. Do I want to see the New York Rangers wearing blue every time they play the Montreal Canadiens or the Detroit Red Wings or even the Philadelphia Flyers? No, I don't. I like the the comp the complementary or no, the contrast between white uniforms and dark uniforms. A light versus dark. Or even if it's light versus light, it's white versus light. I mean, when teams wear white versus the Predators when they wear their regular golden yellow home uniforms, that matchup I don't like as much. But you know what? When you've got one team like, say, the New York Rangers in their gorgeous away uniforms against, say, the Boston Bruins in their home uniforms, that's a beautiful matchup. I don't want to see the Rangers in blue versus Boston in black. I don't. The Rangers in their road whites against even, say, the St. Louis Blues in their 67 throwbacks. That's a gorgeous uniform matchup. You know, another beautiful matchup, in my opinion, the New York Islanders against the Calgary Flames in their red retro jerseys. Do I want to see the Islanders in blue against the Flames in red? No, I don't. Same with when Edmonton actually wore royal blue, which they should be still wearing it, not orange and navy, in my opinion. But, you know... The Oilers in blue versus the Flames in red? I don't even want to see that. I mean, if it was a rare occurrence where it was like maybe a one color versus color match that's televised on NBC for one Sunday game every month that's televised even here in Canada, okay. But even I think even once a month is a little excessive. Like maybe if it was like one color versus color match like maybe every two or three months, I could... <clears throat> Sorry, I could live with that. But do I want to see color versus color games every time I tune on a TV, especially on Saturday nights where that's when the most NHL games are played? Hell no. I don't want to tune in and see the uh, Ducks in black and the Oilers in orange all the time. I don't want to see it. I mean, I know some people love it. And I'm not against seeing color versus color in any sport. But I don't like it when it's excessively used as much as it is in the NBA, and the way that the NFL has even done it in recent years as well. And I'm certainly grateful that the NHL hasn't done that, at least not yet. But you know, if you're going to do color versus color games once in a while, I think that would be great. But when it's excessive and when the color versus color matchups look really bad, that's when I really, really dislike it. Once in a while as a specialty thing, like maybe once a month, sure. But when it's all the time, like in basketball and in the NFL with their color rush uniforms that until last season when they removed the Thursday night only color rush uniform restriction, you know, it can be, it gets to be really excessive and some of the matchups just look downright terrible. But once in a blue moon, if it's the right uniform matchup, color versus color is a very, very nice change of pace in my opinion. But besides once in a blue moon, I don't like it. However, there are some exceptions. In soccer, I can tell the teams apart. Sometimes the color versus color is really nice. In baseball, I don't even mind color versus color because the players are stationary. It's easy to tell them apart. 
I mean, in football, if teams were allowed to wear contrasting elements to their uniforms, sometimes color versus color would be nice. And with the right matchups. Like, for example, maybe Jacksonville in black versus, I don't know, um, well, let, let's change the, the example. How about the Oakland Raiders in black versus the Miami Dolphins in their regular teal home uniforms with white pants? That could work. Something like that could work. But when you see a team like the uh, Los Angeles Rams in all yellow against the Chargers in all royal blue, including the pants, no thank you. Where if the Chargers were wearing their navy blue uniforms and the Rams were wearing their gold uniforms with contrasting navy blue pants and maybe the Chargers were wearing white pants, that would be a nice matchup. But for me, it's not only the uniforms being paired together, it's how you use them and how often. I mean, in sports like baseball where the players are stationary and there's a big field, color versus color usually is not bad. But when you have two teams going in a short amount of space, like an NHL arena or a basketball court, it's I don't like seeing the color versus color as much. But it's remember, it's always a matter of opinion. But overall, am I against color versus color? No. But am I against it being used excessively like it's been in the NBA and the NFL with the way they've done it with their color rush uniforms? And even in some instances in Major League Baseball where we get navy versus royal blue or even red versus orange, that's when I that's when I don't like it. And I like it as a special once in a while thing. In baseball, I like to see it more because there's so many games and the season's so damn long. So for me, seeing more than just white versus gray is great. But in a league like the NFL, you know, if the color versus color matchups had contrasting elements to each uniform, it could work. Once in a blue moon in the NHL, depending on the matchup, could work. In the NBA, I don't even mind it once in a while, but when it's as often as it is, I don't like it. In soccer, the field's so damn big, and the game is kind of slow, relatively, um, it works. In baseball too, but in faster moving sports like hockey and basketball, I don't like it as much. And in the NFL too, especially with these all monochrome uniforms, it's just bad. But anyways, you know, to, find, to finally summarize it, once in a while it's fine, In with too much of anything, it isn't good. And in sports like the NBA and even the NFL in recent years, I feel it's definitely become far too excessive. Where in baseball and in Major League Soccer, because those sports are more stationary and less back and forth, it's it doesn't bother me as much. But anyways, you guys, what do you think about it? Um, I'm going to call it a wrap on this video. And as always, until my next video, take care. And of course, as usual, folks. Bye for now.